baseline consciousness, our normal operating system, our prism of perception is kind of like wearing cognitive ankle weights, right? It's a way of keeping us grounded and functioning with some kind of normalcy in the world. It's an adaptation, it's a form of repression of our full potential. And we're entering an age where recent advances in psychology, technology, neurobiology, and pharmacology, the four forces of ecstasy, are allowing us to peel underneath, to glimpse underneath the hood of our brain and mind, to get a sense of what's going on and be able to perhaps modify and optimize the knobs and levers of perception to disclose new forms of being. This emerging field of advances, of pharmacological interventions in the evanescent flux of sensation and perception that Eric Davis says is all we have and all we are, is known as neurohacking. The idea again of neurohacking is that we are rewriting the operating system. We are engendering an intervention that is going to transform the nature of subjectivity, the first person perspective, all we have and all we are, the theater of experience within which each of us sees the world. And there's a marvelous new company called Neurohacker Collective that has formulated a device called Qualia. I call it a device, it's really a set of pills, but really it's software for the mind. I mean, these advances suggest that personality, that subjectivity, the technical material of the self, can actually be mediated and brought under conscious control, that we can design better minds, that we can disclose better versions of ourself. So perhaps this kind of intervention, you know, meditation, self-inquiry, yoga, and popping the right pill, become the person you want to be, is an era of designer minds. And so I think that neurohacking holds tremendous promise, and we should dive headfirst into this field of inquiry because the future of this species is at stake. So, that's neurohacking.